Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's Aquamel School. Welcome to our pedicure segment. Please give it a big thumbs up to make pedicure videos more frequent. Today's topic is particularly curious. It is toenail onychomycosis, aka toenail fungus. And this is part 2. We did a cleanup in part 1. Our pathologist Olga cleaned up the fungus and gave a treatment to the nails. And that's what we ended up with. Healing process will take a lot of time, but we're going to restore these nails. It's our next step. It's been about two months since the first visit. One should better do it once every three weeks, but our model couldn't come in time. But in the meantime, she consulted a doctor and they prescribed her medications for ingestion. So, in case with such nails, cleaning up the fungus is not enough. Neither is using antifungal treatment. Taking oral medications is mandatory for serious cases like this one. If you notice changes on your nails or the nails of your clients, friends, relatives or kids, make sure to contact a pathologist. They will give you instructions on whether you should see a dermatologist or an onychomycologist so that they could give the right treatment to your toenails. Today, we will be processing both toenails and feet. We're using a diamond drill bit that imitates a sand cap. It's reusable and it goes perfectly with a spray knee file that is filled with liquid. Using pedicure discs of larger diameter, we couldn't have that liquid in the areas we need it in. This cap can be sterilized and disinfected, like any other manicure tool or drill bit. That's convenient. There's a corn on the right feet, and it's pretty rough. We tried filing it with a sand cap, but since it's too thick and big, we decided to cut it off. Just like we remove seed corns. Using eye nippers, we cut it off bit by bit in a circular motion. When we lift up the skin, we can see the area that we are processing. The area between the soft skin and this rough part. But we should work cautiously. I know that many people try to remove such corns at home. And for this purpose, they use all the kinds of razors. But that is too dangerous since razors may easily damage deeper skin layers. The skin will start regenerating, causing even more corns. So, if you or your clients suffer from corns, make sure to contact a pathologist or a qualified nail technician. They will provide a corn relief through pedicure. Now we polish it with the cap to smooth out the skin and to minimize the risk of new corns. Now let's process the toenails. Their condition is significantly better after the last cleanup. We remove the free edge with nippers and we also remove all the peelings. Overall, the treatment suggested by the doctor, combined with our help, is very productive. The nail plate grows slowly but steadily. Our task is to keep such cleanups regular and remove onycholysis with a knee file. That will help to grow healthy nails. Keeping these areas may result in infection that in turn will reverse the whole process. So it's a long systematic work with a specialist. Toenails are more inflamed on the left foot compared to the right one, so using a cylinder diamond drill bit was enough there. But here, we're going to need a carbide one, since the nail is thicker. Last time we were struggling with removing some nail bits. 
The nail bed was inflamed and filled with capillaries. So any rapid move could hurt or cause bleeding due to that. It's almost gone now, so it's way easier to process it this time. We need to remove all the keratinized parts. And that's when a spraying tool comes in handy. It nicely cools down the nail surface, so the cleanup doesn't cause any discomfort. We clean up the sinuses with a sphere drill bit. We make long moves going up and down. The sphere is about 19 mm. This way we can remove both nail and skin bits. Now let's go over the cuticle. We'll lift it up with the cylinder drill bit. Then we'll be using a cone one. Sure, we won't get too deep under the cuticle here. For such damaged nails, it's just a hygienic cleanup. It won't be picture perfect. We just need to help the client. But we also decided to process the cuticle. We need to go bit by bit, watching the client's reaction. Just continue like this. Every time I watch a pathologist working, I'm in awe. Not every nail technician can help people out like this. So all those people studying and practicing advanced pathology can help the entire nail industry, not just their clients. So we should be grateful for them. We've finished it off with antifungal tea tree oil. We just rub it into the nails and the skin around. We also massage the feet with an antifungal cream and recommend using it at home on a regular basis. As well as having regular cleanups. Altogether, that will help to grow healthy toenails faster. I think they look better already. There is definitely a positive dynamic after the first cleanup. It's the second one. If you want to continue watching this transformation, please give this video a big thumbs up. Success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.